Hi everyone! In today's video, I'm going to show you how to grow these microgreens. Not only are they super easy to grow, but they're also very nutritious for you. Recent studies have shown that microgreens often have a higher nutritional value than their mature age plants, with some having five or six fold more nutrients in it for you. In addition, some varieties can provide you with 10% of your recommended daily intake of magnesium and potassium. So they're very good for you and everyone should be growing them. Stay tuned to find out how to grow these microgreens. Okay, so let's get started with soaking our seeds. Uh, today I got my seeds from Green Harvest and they provided this guide. Um, in the guide it will tell you how many seeds to use in your seedling tray. So for the pea shoots we're going to need one to one and a half cups and the same for sunflowers. So let's get our containers ready. We'll start with the uh, pea shoots. And we'll measure out um, one and a half cups, which was about 200 grams. Uh, I actually found later on that one cup would have been enough, so around 150 grams of pea shoots. Next is chickpea and I'll be using the same amount that was for the pea shoots so the full 200 grams in hindsight 150 grams should be suffice for these seedling trays and lastly sunflower seeds so this is a 250 gram bag and I probably used half so 150 grams or one and a half cups fill them up with enough water to cover and leave them to soak overnight. And they should swell up quite a bit to this. We are going to be using a seed raising mix and rehydrating it with some water. It is made out of cocoa nut core. And we're going to be making around about a 50-50 mix with vermiculite. We're using this mix to provide moisture as microgreens get their energy from their seed. Let's fill up our trays. And I did end up using a little bit more of the coconut core. Spread the seeds evenly over the tray. I topped the chickpeas and pea shoots with more coconut core. Then softly water all the trays before placing in a sunny warm spot. So after seven days, here are my pea shoots, lovely and green. Here are my sunflower shoots, a little bit leggy. And finally the chickpeas did not do so well and have not sprouted yet. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, subscribe and comment below for more videos.